pump minimum flow recirculation control. In this video lecture, the important role of recirculation control valve for protection of large pumps is discussed. To ensure the safety of large pumps, for example, boiler feed pump, condensate extraction pump, etc., it is essential to maintain a minimum flow through the pump at all modes of operation. This diagram shows condensate, condensate makeup and dump system and feed water system. In this diagram you can see the boiler feed pump and its corresponding recirculation line. You can also see the condensate extraction pump and its associated recirculation line. Request It is hoped that this session is going to be useful to you. Please press like button. Please subscribe this channel. बहुत जल्दी यह लेक्चर आपको हिंदी में भी उपलब्ध होगा इन दिस डायग्राम यू कैन सी द बॉयलर फीड पंप एंड इट्स डिस्चार्ज हेडर देन यू कैन सी द रिसर्कुलेशन लाइन फॉर दिस पंप The recirculation control valve is located on a separate line tabbed from either the individual pump discharge or the common discharge header of pumps. Here you can see the condensate extraction pump and its discharge header then there is a recirculation line here going to the hot well the recirculation control valve is located on a separate line tapped from either the individual pump discharge or the common discharge header of pumps This is the recirculation line and the recirculation control valve is located on this line. The minimum flow through the pump is maintained by using a pump minimum flow recirculation control valve circulating fluid from the boiler feed pump discharge line back to its source that is the deaerator feed water storage tank this is the recirculation line and the recirculation control valve is located on this line the minimum flow through the pump is maintained by using a pump minimum flow recirculation control valve circulating fluid from the condensate extraction pump discharge line back to its source that is the condenser hot well as long as the fluid flow to the process is at or below the safe 
minimum limit this control remains in service when the fluid flow exceeds the safe limit the pump minimum flow recirculation control valve is closed in the previous slides we have explained the concept of recirculation control valve now we will explain the same thing with an with a practical example so here the example is boiler feed pump recirculation control here we are having the flow element and associated flow transmitter this flow element is sensing the flow through the feed pump then for the flow there are two settings one is the lower setting and other is the higher setting both the settings are being fed into the logic circuitry or transfer switch and here is the recirculation final operator that is the control valve when the flow through the feed pump is at lower limit or lower than that than that then the with the help of this logic circuitry the recirculation final operator or the control valve said fully open and whenever the flow through the pump is higher than this higher limit then the recirculation control valve shall close now let us describe it with the help of this write up the boiler feed pump recirculation control system protects the boiler feed pump from overheating at low boiler loads feed water flow through the pump is monitored and fed to logic circuitry that opens a recirculation valve when the flow drops below the preset flow value this valve remains open until the flow reaches a second higher operating point this adjustable dead band feature maximizes operating stability in the recirculation loop request it is hope that this session was useful to you please press like button please subscribe this channel बहुत जल्दी यह लेक्चर आपको हिंदी में भी उपलब्ध होगा